Hello, in this video you learn how to create this simple pool stacking array effect. So when the user hovers over a certain image, it somehow scales up and creates that zoom effect and the images in the background they will shrink showing the priority or view of this image in front so the stacking order. So when you also hover over this the images in the background they will shrink and they zoom out to this. The same applies to this image. So we are going to be creating this simple cool effect using only HTML and CSS, no JavaScript. If you're interested, stick around and see how we created this. So I already have some simple markup here. It's very, very simple. There is no need of writing a lot of code. So I just have a simple div with a class of gallery section. So these classes are user defined. You can call them anything that you want. But in case you want to follow this tutorial, then prefer to use the same classes that I'm going to be using here. So inside this parent div with this class of gallery section, we have three images inside. So we have lion, zebra and owl and each class has a unique, sorry, and each image has a unique class. So the first image has img1, short for image1, img2, img3. So this is the simple markup that we are having in the body section. So in the head section, I went ahead and linked style.css. So I have this file of style.css where we're going to be writing our CSS. Then also the three images that I will be sharing with you in the description below in case you want to use the same images. Let's save that. This is the simple markup. Then in our style.css, I just have some predefined styling for the body. So the reason why you're seeing these images here, it's because of this. So this is just the way that I want to, this is the layout that I wanted them to be somehow placed in the middle. So this is what you're going to be using. As you can see, we have these huge images. There is no staring applied to them. So since we linked this style.css, let's go and work on that. The first thing that I'm going to target is that parent div with a class of gallery section and I'm going to set its position position to relative and the reason why I'm setting its position to relative we are going to position all these images absolute so we so that we'll be able to move it inside to move them anywhere we want inside their parent div so in case we never specify this element with this class of gallery section to be relative if we maybe we said top zero so this image will go to the top of the entire body so we want it to be playing around its parent element which is this div with a class of gallery section so now let us target the images inside this parent div with a class of gallery section so gallery section then img now we are targeting every element that has this tag the img the image tag so the first thing we are going to do we are going to set their width this is also predefined for this tutorial but in case you want to set your own width feel free to do so so i set it to 40 percent and when we save this in the browser you'll see this so we have set the entire width for all these images images to 40%. Then let us position them absolute so that we move them anywhere we want inside this parent div which we set in position relative. So position absolute and we are first going to leave this section right now. If you are to check they are stacked on top with each other. You may think it's one image but all the other images are behind this simple image or this one image. Then Remember, we gave each image a class. So we are first going to target the first image. Remember, it has the class of img1. And we are going to say left. We want it to leave some space on the left of 5 rem. Save. And they have pushed it from left. From the left hand side, they have pushed it 5 rem. Then let us target the second image, IMG2. 
and on the left hand side we are going to push it 10 rem so push it 10 rem from the left you may not be able to see it and then we are going to say from the top we want you to go 1 rem and we shall be having some simple right now you are not going to see it because still this image is big until we also move it sorry you will be able to see it's just that I made a simple error here so it's a class we need to put a period there and you'll be seeing this sorry for that guys I never noticed that mistake at first so we have pushed this 10 rem from the left then let us also now target the last one which is img3 the all so dot img3 if I don't forget let me scroll up then we are going to say from the left want you to leave 15 rem then from the top you leave 2 rem and this is what we are having so you you go around and play with this because it's what I played around with and got that effect but in case you also want a different type of layout or stacking order then feel free to play around with these properties so we are able to move it inside here cause we set the parent div or the element with position relative if we never set this so all this is what you will be having so it will be targeting the body using it as its parent element so if we say this if we uncomment that then we shall be playing around this div so not the body but inside this div then let us now go to the property called the z index and the z index what that does it specifies the stacking order of an element so the element with the highest z index it always be on top or in front of the elements around and let me show you this so by default we are going to set all the z index so all the images their z index is going to be at 10 so that's their z index nothing's going to change but what what we want when we want we want when we over over this zebra we want to change its z index to a higher number so that it comes on top of the surrounding elements and to do that we are going to target that gallery section so that's the parent div then the image when it's hovered over we want to set its z index sorry z index and let's say we set it to 20 so it's higher than the default z index that every image has so remember they are all at 10 but when we over over a certain image or a specific image then we want to increase its z index so that it comes on top of the surrounding elements and see what's going to happen so when you hover over a lion so its z index is set to 20 remember the other ones they will be having a z index of 10 so the one with the highest z index always come on top as you can see so that's the effect that we are having right now very very simple so let's go back then what we are going to do is we are going to set some transform property here the one you saw when it was scaling or increasing on its size so transform and the scale we want it to be let's say 1.2 for now see this it be somewhere like zooming in but now it just happens in real time within a flash so we want to create some simple cool transition when the user hovers over this so, so sorry so we shall go to the images and we set a simple transition and we are going to target all the properties using this all value so all and we shall say 0.5 seconds so half a second so if you do this you see we shall have that simple smooth scaling then you also saw here that when you hover over this it somehow rotates or tilts and to do that we are just going to add here another function which is called rotate rotate 
and we are going to rotate it so you can also again play around with the degrees we are going to rotate it around 10 degrees let's go back as you can see we are having that very very simple now let us also add some shadow that you're seeing here so we are having some box shadow around these images and the box shadow is very very simple so let's go back to the unfinished product and we're going to go here again to the images and share box shadow three positive or minus three pixels one pixels then the bra will be five pixels then the color i'm going to use rgba so black zero sorry zero zero then point five the alpha or the opacity so we're having this so why i put here negative three i wanted it to be on the left hand side the shadow i wanted it to start from the left hand side if i put a positive number here then the shadow will shift and come on the right hand side so here we put negative three so that it goes in the opposite direction so it's put on the left hand side very very simple then let us see on the finished product if you see if you hover over this the images in the background shrink or they reduce on their scale so to do that we are going to create a simple pseudo class here so we are going to target the parent div with this class of gallery section so we are targeting the entire div then we say when it's hovered over so when the user hovers over this we want to get the image so here we are selecting all the images so we want to get all the images that do not have so using this not pseudo class so that don't have the hover pseudo class i'm going to explain this it may be <laughs> confusing to some of you so what we are doing here we are saying when we hover over this gallery section so when it's hovered we want select all the images that do not have the hover state let me phrase it like that so we are going to here we are targeting all the images that do not have this pseudo class that are not hovered over and this is what we are going to do we are going to say transform and we get the scale function remember here the scale is at 1.2 so we want to shrink it by Point zero, sorry, point 0.9 and this is what we are having so when you hover over this they shrink the other images that are not hovered over so this is what this statement does so I just want you to be like learning it like plain English so when you hover over the gallery section you want to target every element that does not have the over class so when we hover over this, the other images will not be hovered over, so we shall sh shrink them or reduce on their scale. So when we hover over this, the other images will not be hovered over, and then we shall also reduce on their scale. Then this is the effect that I was talking about. Let's say you want to when the user hovers over this and the other images disappear on the page. It's very, very simple. So you just come here and say opacity. And set it to zero so and this is what is going to happen when you hover over, over this the other images disappear on the page and you're having that smooth zoom out or disappearing of the images because of this transition property that you set so we set it to all properties affecting all properties that's why you're having that simple fade out effect so in case you want to have that effect then feel free to also play around with that so there are, there are more things that we can apply to this cool stacking effect but let that be an exercise to you guys and play around and come up with some cool cool effects but now let us understand something 
I always handle something concerning media queries. See when we go to small screen devices. This is how it's going to be looking like. But in case you don't want it to leave this weird space and you want to reduce on this, then just go ahead and add your media queries. So at media, then screen, and then we target the maximum width. Let's say around 5 pixels. So this is what I said. And if you want to see where or is your layout will be breaking from just right click inspect and when you start shrinking this browser at the top right hand corner they will be displaying where you see my cursor rotating they will be displaying some values there so check it out as you can see so when you reach the pixels that you don't want let's say five 500 pixels as I put here, it doesn't look nice. What we are going to do is target these images. So, image one, sorry, the class of image one, and then say, let us leave for it, let us leave it at 5 rem from the left. Then, image two, IMG2. Then we are going to reduce, remember it is at 10. Then we are going to say 7 rem. We just reduced by, as you can see, it has reduced by 7. Then the last one, we want it to reduce by 10. Image 3. And from the left, we want it to be 10 rem. At first, it was at 15. So you can also go around in the media queries and add your specific sizes. So when you go back here, it will be nice. But then if you reach the 500 pixel away it breaks from, then we add the different stylings of the position. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you guys. If so, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll always see you in the next tutorial. The source code is going to be available at austincodecipher.com. Peace.